there, I'm Sandra. And I'm Christy. And we are here today to discuss Amazon receipts and the do's and don'ts. We'll try to keep this as straightforward as possible. Basically, with Amazon receipts, or like any receipt, please do not put that in the body of the email. Please save it and then put it in the email as a PDF attachment. That makes things a lot easier for everybody. In addition to that, when you're sending in your Amazon receipts in, there are multiple copies you might receive from Amazon along the way to track your order or in your cart. You might get uh, many messages from Amazon. We do not like to receive the copies of either a packing slip, delivery slip, cart, or any of that. There's reasons for that. Those um, copies do not include GST, they don't include names, they don't include any kind of information that we need to then forward on for auditing purposes. So if you can be sure that the copy you send in is an actual invoice to us, that would be very helpful. And Christy is going to go into some more length and detail about an actual invoice from Amazon and how to retrieve that. Yes, if we're gonna, we're, I'm going to show you on the computer here um, exactly where to find your um, Amazon invoices. So if you just follow along with me and I will go um, give you step-by-step -step information on how to find your invoices. So hi there, here we are on our Amazon um, website. Um, and we, this is where we're going to pull up our, our account. We're going to go to the right corner here where it says Returns and Orders. We're going to click on that, and this is where it's going to um, bring up everything that you've ordered um, and some stuff that has been delivered, some hasn't yet. So I'm going to scroll down to a package that has been delivered, and I'm going to go um, to the right-hand side again, and you're going to see in this, um, there's invoice in blue up here, so you're going to click on invoice. And it's going to pull up invoice one, two, and printable order. So we're going to click on invoice one. And this is where it um, shows you your actual invoice. And this is the copy that we need. So here, this is what we need. We need to see um, your name and your address, where the package has been delivered. Um, on the right-hand side here, it tells you what you've paid. And then if we scroll down a bit, um, it gives you the description of what you've ordered. Um, and then how much you paid, what you paid in GST, what we also need, and then it gives you a total. So on this invoice, there's just one um, item that we ordered, but um, several times there will be several um, items that you've ordered, which is fine, as long as they all um, are things that you need for education. Now if there is the odd time where you've purchased something personal and it is on your invoice, all we ask is that you cross that off and make the adjustments to the total. So we don't want to have to figure out, okay, this is personal and then we have to take it off. We want you to cross it off for us and um, adjust the total for us. So yeah, so this is the invoice that we are looking for. And it says invoice on the top corner and it gives us all the information that we need. So you can then save this um, invoice onto your desktop, save it as into a PDF, PDF and then attach it to your email for us. So to recap what we've demonstrated today and talked about today, basically the do's and don'ts of Amazon receipts and uh, basically the do not side of things, basically do not send us anything but an invoice as Christy demonstrated on how to actually access that information on your Amazon, Amazon account and why it's necessary. Basically, that invoice includes your name, your address, total paid, including GST. It has a breakdown of all items. It, uh, if you do buy something personal, please remove that from your yep. invoice. In addition to that, I'm sure you notice in the top corner it actually has a GST number there as well. And uh, basically, that's an official receipt for us then to forward on to Albert Education. Yep, so that's basically covered everything that we need you guys to print off. It's very easy. All your information, um, all your history is in under returns and orders. So it's very easy for you to find and access. So hopefully this is very helpful for you guys to print off the correct um, invoices from Amazon for us. Thank you. And then just to reinforce, again, 
PDF and send it as an attachment, please. Yes, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.